Let's see how long time we made. Show up, Michael Fugler. I am from Louisiana. This is my home state. And I, want, I want to assure you from greetings from Lieutenant Governor, Governor too, but I spoke to Lieutenant Governor Jay Gordon. And he said to be sure and tell you, you they're glad that you're here in Louisiana. So Would you like a sneak peek into your future way of doing business? Anybody? We are in the middle of an informational technology revolution. And I have a question for you. Would you be interested in us bringing to you our experts who have peered into their crystal ball and can offer you a clear view of the future? Anybody? Absolutely. I've been thinking, and I'm, I'm guessing that you've been thinking, I wish I could do that when you see some new technology. So for the first time ever, live or video, on this stage and other stages that you will be sitting before, here's how to do it. This will be a not to be missed education, training, and demonstration of how to do it. Short sessions with our fast paced series of experts revealing the secrets that you need to know. Does that sound like something that would be of interesting to you? Yes. Technology advances, globalization, the Great Recession, and shifts in the financial services marketplace have changed everything. In our short sessions, you will be given an overview of the vision of our experts and the knowledge they will share, which will give you clearer understanding of how to develop your master plan using technology, social media, and shaping your client acquisition and relationship in this new economy and changing world. There will be video and live presentations on website design and implementation. We've done for you behind the scenes use of Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and how to seamlessly tie them together to make you look like a techno genius. New inside looks at hardware, software, smartphones, tablets, digital photography, video, directions and demonstrations on how to shoot video and upload it into email mobile devices, and YouTube to communicate to your clients. When you return home, you will never be the same. Sessions will be loaded with step-by-step -step instructions, demonstrations. Would you like to have that on this stage? Is anybody with me on that? Absolutely. If this interests you, then please talk to Emily and your board and tell them you would like more of this. Today is just a peak, it's just the beginning of what we hope to bring to you on a regular basis. Today we're talking about 30 tech tips in 30 minutes. There are a lot of great technology tools out there, many of which are cheap or free, reliable and extremely useful. The problem is, most people don't have the time to figure it out. They don't have the time to figure out which tech offerings meet those criteria. 30 tips in 30 minutes is a fast paced, think of it like speed dating tech tips. It's a presentation that will quickly show you a bunch of useful tech tips. Pick the ones you like most, implement those, and you'll have learned something valuable. Technology is hard enough without compounding it without a boring lecture. The learning objectives, you'll have useful, even powerful tools for your firm. Do you know how to put it all to work? This is going to be a fun, fast-paced session where a myriad of tips, tricks, websites, shortcuts, hints, tools, and gadgets are discussed with a focus on how they can help get the job done and get it done right. You will see how to integrate the technology you have in your daily projects, identify ways to use some of the latest technology to improve your work, apply some quick techniques for getting the most technology and the most technology you can about. Today we have a speaker, Ernie Spencer. We call him Ernie the Attorney. I have the, I have the privilege of getting to know Ernie. I have seen him and participated with him in law sessions of continuing legal education and law presentations. We have today and tomorrow 
the Louisiana State Bar Association just down the street is giving a demonstration. And in that demonstration, Ernie will be a featured speaker, expanding on what we're going to show to you today. He is best known for his site, EarningTheAttorney.net, I would encourage you to take a look at it, which is chosen by the ABA, the American Bar Association Journal, as one of the top 100 law web blogs two years in a row. He believes that the practice of law is largely an information processing business, and he tries to help lawyers find more efficient ways to process their information. Toward that end, he has started two other web blogs, pdflawyers.com and digitalworkflowcle.com. He's a frequent speaker on topics related to the practical use of technology by lawyers. Three years ago, Ernie started a company called Digital Workflow CLE to provide continuing legal education seminars for lawyers on technology issues. He is now a full-time speaker focused on speaking to lawyers and industry groups about using technology more efficiently. Ladies and gentlemen, including the ones at the table to my left, and Mr. Shilia, and all of the other people, if you would give your undivided attention to our speaker, I appreciate it, Ernie, the attorney. Thank you. Because you all are eating, you don't have to give me your undivided attention. One of the things about technology is that uh, people multitask, so if you can multitask and eat, uh, enjoy your meal, and don't worry uh, about this. So what I want to do is cover a couple of technology tips I think can help people out. Um, there's a lot to learn about technology. As I'm sure everybody in this room is well aware, uh, technology is changing the way that we process information, the way we deal with it, and it is uh, dealing with a larger amount of information every day. Um, in the legal world, I see this, but I'm sure that this is something that you guys see as well. So the, the trick is, how do we process this information in a way that lets us get the work done that we need to get done with this little minimal fuss and muss? Um, we find things that are reliable and useful. And so this is speed dating for tech tips, as Michael said. Uh, I don't expect every one of these tips to be useful to every one of you, but I hope that everybody in the audience will take away three or four uh, useful tips that they can put into practice right away. And you don't need to write any of this down, uh, because at the end of this I'll tell you how you can find this online, because I've already posted it online on my website. So let's get started. One of the most important things right now is to protect your information, to be secure. And there are a lot of things that the bad guys are doing to get at our information, and usually uh, they want to, what they really like to get is your passwords. Your passwords to your financial sites, to whatever it is that you value most, that's what they want to get. And they have lots of different ways that they can do uh, their, their evil deeds. There are a lot of programs that protect your passwords, um, so this isn't the only one that's out there, but this is the one that I use, so I can recommend it because I know how it works. And it's called 1Password. It used to be for Macs only. They recently ported it over to Windows, so you have equivalent use with it on Windows or Mac. Um, it creates a file that you store somewhere. And I'll tell you about that in a second. But when you store this file, let's say somewhere that you can access it from anywhere, then I can go to my Mac computer or my Windows computer, and all of my passwords will be on this encrypted file that nobody can get into. And all I have to do is enter one password, and every one of those different passwords is now usable. So that if I go to my bank website, and I want to log in there, I have one password for that site, and I have a different password for each site that I go to that has valuable information. Because step one is to create a firewall so that if somebody, um, so that if somebody gets one of your passwords, they don't get them all. So that's, that's one thing you want to do. Another thing you want to do is you want to be able to fill out forms quickly on the internet. So this, uh, this program has a form filler that lets you quickly populate a form with your home address, your business address, you can have several different identities. That's one thing that it does. The best thing that it does, though, is it generates a secure password because that's really the trick. Is you want to have a password that's extremely strong. So not a word, a bunch of weird characters. The problem with the weird characters is, of course, you can't remember those. So this program generates whatever kind of password you need. So if the, if the site you're on says you need to have a 
password between 8 and 12 characters, and it has to have one letter. You just drag a little slider across, and it creates the perfect password for that, fills it in, remembers it, and you're good to go. So for example, my bank passwords, I have no idea what they are. Uh, I really don't. But I can get to my passwords because they're protected, and uh, they're on my iPhone, they're on my uh, you can have a uh, this is how much it costs, $49 Mac or PC. You can have it for iPhone and Android. Doesn't matter what kind of cell phones you can have it on your cell phone, on your iPad, and on all your computers. And the company is called agilebits.com.